Welcome back to another day of Duke Basketball Camp. This is actually the last day, and this is the last game of the entire tournament for them. So I want to show you some highlights of them playing in their game literally right now in front of me. One thing I will tell you that I'm a little disappointed by is you see, I saw the video a few days ago where you saw the accident that happened on this court, and I asked the coaches, please don't let them make them play on this court again. First of all, it's dangerous. Second of all, this is the team that watched their teammate go down with a broken ankle. Kind of traumatizing, but they didn't make any moves. Um, this court is still being played for everybody, and they're making this team play on the same court. So I told Easton and Lincoln before the game, don't go in for layups. If you're going on a fast break, you're gonna stop and you're gonna shoot at jump shots. But you're not gonna be tough under the hoop. This is the last game. We wanna go home healthy. Let's enjoy a few highlights and then let's see what these boys really thought about the Duke camp. So uh, here's Lincoln and Easton balling out in their final game. Why you be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Dollar or something. Get you a dollar or something. Something. Why you be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Dollar or something. Hey, show everybody what your shoes does. Oh. They're lit. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Look at these shoes, guys. All gorgeous. PlayStation. That's cool. Basketball camp was so hard. Look how much I'm sweating right oh, now. Oh, give me a break. That's a rain. Come on. You walked the whole way back. Yeah. There was a giant thunderstorm that came, so we had to run to the car. Now we get to sit in the parking lot and wait for all the other cars to come out. So while we're sitting here in this rain traffic, thunderstorm traffic, um, let's get some thoughts. Easton, thoughts on Duke basketball camp? It was really fun. How would you compare it to the BYU basketball camp? I would say that most of the teams are better, more organized, maybe a little bit. The coaching is a lot better. Like, They're our coach coached advice. the Washington Wizards G League team. They worked you really hard compared to BYU basketball camp. I would say if there's one thing that I like BYU basketball camp more, I would say that I like the how there's like a tournament. You play five games against all the other teams, and then you move into like a Tournament. tournament kind of thing like sudden death if you lose you're done but I do like the tournament thing that's a good point having something to play for because you guys just played a bunch of games and then that was it yeah mm -hmm. that's definitely one part that's better but the kids are definitely better here um, the coaching is really good to compare I mean we haven't really talked about it but like at BYU they have a lot of there are a few players like current players that will go and help with some of the teams sometimes but in the past three or four years it's been guys that sometimes don't even know much about basketball they're just getting paid like six dollars an hour or whatever it is like some low amount of money to be there and they're like college students making money or it's some dads that just volunteer their time but don't really have much coaching experience so it's a lot different at BYU that is nice to see that all of these coaches like they travel from all over the country and all over the world really to be in coach K's camp like how cool to be like I coach at coach K's summer camp even though it's little kids that you're coaching it's still something that you can put on your resume that kind of might might help you get that job over another coach that doesn't have that experience. How do the courts compare at here versus BYU camp? I would say better, except for the gym without AC. And, and the no two wall. courts in the Cameron gym. I know we've talked about it a lot, but Duke's got to change that. We don't have footage of how the guy injured his leg right there, so it's kind of hard to say, like, did he hit the wall and somebody push against it? What, did he just hit the ground and not even hit the wall? I don't know, but that wall definitely played a factor and it's something that's like shouldn't be that way. Something really cool, Coach K talked a lot about the NBA draft and what he's been doing today, because today is the NBA draft and he's been talking about his role in it and all the players that have been calling him. And so it's kind of cool that tonight is the NBA draft. We're gonna go and watch that, maybe get some food, stay out of the rain and the thunderstorms, but um, it'll be cool to see like the number one pick should be Zion. Should be or will be? Will be. Will be? I mean, if they don't, it would be a, all, everyone would go crazy. Like, you did not pick Zion, how? 
they basically would have to say, New Orleans Pelicans, you are no longer allowed to have a team because you are incompetent of choosing the best basketball player since LeBron in the draft. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, there's uh, Duke camp. Um, will Lincoln and Easton go again next year? I would say probably no. I think that's probably good. What do you think? I liked it more than UAU. Would you go again next year? Yeah. We're gonna see if Easton can dunk the ball that's completely empty. All right, the empty basketball. Let's see it. Oh, so close. So close, not bad for a 13 year old. 